sometimes you'll find the need to uh, use some features we have in the program that are very helpful once you understand what they can do. Uh, and what I'm talking about is this split feature. There's a tab at the bottom of the screen and also the window feature. Um, and the window, we used to call it transom. We'll probably call it transom again someday, but think of it as a way of removing verticals from uh, an elevation in between a certain area. And that gives you like a bigger window or a piece of glass in that area. So let's go ahead and start a new elevation. And I actually just helped a customer with this today, so this will, uh, I'll kind of give that example right now. So let's call it a split uh, with window elevation. Doesn't really matter what framing system we're going to use, so I'll use the same one there. So now I am going to make a three panel opening. I'm going to make it uh, not that wide, say 130 inches wide and maybe 150 inches tall. So now what we're going to do is uh, the first thing that we wanted was a, or that this customer wanted was a pair of doors in the middle panel. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to add in panel two, I'm going to add a door frame that's a pair. So that would be a 72 inch wide door frame. And again, it doesn't really matter which door frame. Um, and we'll go ahead and do door leaves just for fun. Whichever pair comes up is good. And uh, I'm going to show that. So now here's our pair of doors with a 72 inch opening. Now, what what, what I want to show you is how you would make this um, have two verticals that are equally divided at the top above the door. So first thing we're going to do is put some horizontals in at the door head height, 84. Um, and that gives us that look. Now, you know what? Actually, I can go ahead. So that's one way to get that look right there. And then we could split this transom down the middle. Let's do that real quick. If we split that transom down the middle, I would tell it I want a quantity of one split from panel two to two. And from a height of 84 inches, which is the bottom of the door head, to the top of the uh, opening, which was 150. And when it draws that in, so it splits it up uh, just fine and it looks nice. But now if we want a different look, let's say, let's say we need a, a horizontal to go all the way across here and then have verticals, uh, only two verticals above that horizontal above the door head, so, or at the door head. So, so here's what we'll do. I will take out this split. We'll go back to the horizontal tab. We'll take out the horizontal. And now I'm going to actually add a window above the door. So, or think of it as a transom. And what I'm going to be doing is removing the verticals above the door head. So I'm going to add the window from panel one to panel three, from a height of 84 inches to 150. So from the door head, the bottom of the door head to the top of the opening. And that's going to give me one big piece of glass here. Now what I'm going to want to do is split that three way, well, two splits, which means two verticals, but that will give me three pieces of glass. So I'm going to say I want two splits from panel one to one. And this is kind of the trick here. Since this is a window, I'm treating it like one panel. So we're kind of ignoring the fact that this window occupies three panels. Um, the program needs to have it one way or the other. So in order for the splits to work correctly, for the splits to treat it as one big panel, um, we're telling it to go from panel one to one. So whatever panel your window starts in, that's where it has to end if you're splitting it. So it starts in one, it ends in one, and that's the one panel. So think of it that way if that makes any sense. Um, so again it's from a height of 84 to 150 and I'm going to add that to the drawing. Now see how that divided that up equally. So that's a perfect example of using a window um, above a door to, to get one big piece of glass and then using the split feature to divide that up into uh, equal segments. So I could have split it once down the middle which would have given me two equal sizes or when I split it twice, it gives me three pieces of equal glass. And then I could always split it four times, or th split it three times, which gives me four pieces of glass. So that's it. And I could always add um, horizontals in there if I want to. So let's see, click on horizontal, add. And I can even put some horizontals down at 
uh, below that door head height and then I could do another row at say uh, 110 inches and it should draw those right through the um, right through the window so so that's basically uh, the things you can do with the split and window combination and another quick point is is a pair of doors always occupies one panel so you'll notice it's the three panel opening two side lights and a pair of doors but it's still only three panels so that's pretty much it for the uh, the split stuff